Hey guys, I quickly built ChatGB like a chatbot or a web app and let me show you how it looks like. So if I say how does the brain work and I hit the send button in just fraction of seconds, you can see almost like 10 to 15 lines coming out. Why and how I did this? I use something called as GrogQ. Please don't confuse it with grog.ai, which is from Twitter or X. And what is grog? It's nothing but it's a platform permission to set the standard for Jedi inference speed. This inference speed is the most important thing because lightning speed, it could stream out all the tokens using something called as LPU inference engine which is standing for language processing unit. GrogQ started like almost 2016 and they're developing this particular chip. I would highly encourage to read more of their works. They have a lot of research paper which is going on. It is super powerful, the whole technology. What they are doing is they're using this LPU to provide the fastest inference for computation intensive application, for the large language models. So you can use Mistral which I used in this particular example, or you can use Llama. How I build this whole stuff, I used the GrogQ's Python SDK. All you need is this few lines of code, a spin up a front end on the top of it. For that, you have number of platform. I have used data button. I will just quickly build this Python endpoint. Let me write it a GrogQ uh, chatbot. Okay, I'll just create a capability in data, but you have something called as capability, which is nothing but your backend. So you need to prompt out. I will ask our data button AI agents, use this SDK and perform it over a Jupyter a notebook. Data button provides to test your Python backend. It also plans and that is how conversationally I could build a whole endpoint for us and then which is connected to the React front end. So it will ask you every processes like the API key. If you need the API key, go to this place, console.grog.com, create your new API key, copy it and dump it in your uh, environment. You'll be good to go. Uh, so this agent help us to build the whole stuff step by step. As you can see, it speed the whole endpoint out here and it's super fast. By the way, why I wanted to show you this execution is if you now check the endpoint, which I've already created before, the chat completion, client.chat.completion.create. This is something very similar. I think we have seen this before and we have seen in our open AI endpoints. And this is another thing why GrogQ is super useful because its SDK is very similar to open AI. So if you have already pre-built chatbot, we can always just swap it. So what I did was I just built this endpoint in data button. This is basically a router, fast API endpoint. And next I connected this with this particular front end. This front end is divided into few uh, components, uh, which you can also see here. But the most important part is the whole front end is written nothing but in React. And you don't need to write the whole stuff. The AI has written the whole. I uploaded a screenshot of ChatGPT and I asked it to make this work. And I'm not showing the whole process now, but if I just make small tweaks, it will always work. You can also change by writing the code. Let's say you want to just uh, change a suggestion of question. And if I just save it here, you'll see it will reflect out here. All this thing, you can write the code yourself. If you don't like it, you can also ask the agent conversationally to make the whole UI for you. And once that's done, you connect both of them together. Again, data button agents could do that. You use this endpoint, which is like the brain of the app and you connect that with this endpoint out. This whole endpoint, which you created, grok underscore endpoint, is basically nothing but this router which the front end is calling. That's how both of them are connected. I have a couple of blocks already which uh, describe this whole workflow. Click the deploy button and then it's done. Everything done in data button, but the main message out here is nothing but how could we leverage Grokius SDK. Just you click it, within fraction of time it comes up. How fast it is, you don't even need to stream. That's why GrogQ, the service which GrogQ provides is very powerful and I think we should really use it and swap with our open endpoints. I think this is one of the next big thing which should literally help us to build a very powerful chatbot on top of any data or any uh, large language models. That's all for today and I hope you guys will uh, use this. Let me know how it goes with your workflow. Cheers.